What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to be talking about how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code SU-42118-6. So a lot of people actually left a comment under my latest video on how to fix like uh, this later uh, latest error that popped up on the 7.55 update and they were mentioning this error happened as well. So I did some digging, I did some research, uh, tried some tricks and whatnot and some fixes and you know this is the list I've compiled and what you should do to basically ensure this error goes away. Now. Most likely this is happening whether within the PlayStation 4 itself w while you turn it on like on this screen while you're trying to either play a game or trying to do the update or it's happening when you just turn on your PlayStation 4 and it just goes to safe mode and it just it's like in a loop and when you try to update that error comes up. If this error is happening on this specific screen which like I said certain people I don't know if this is rare but certain people this happened what you can technically do is in notifications you can go here and you can basically delete any update that was here whether it's, it's, it's it most likely obviously it's due to this so it's either not installed you can just delete the files over here so you can delete these notifications the update notifications and hope like when you re-download it it ends up working and this error goes away now if that obviously did not work what i would recommend you doing is to turn off your playstation 4 completely and from once that's completely turned off we're going to enter into safe mode and i'm going to basically take it from there to tell you guys what you need to do and what next steps are so a couple things to keep in mind you might need to require a usb to take next steps on basically fixing your PlayStation 4, uh, which might be basically reinitializing your PlayStation 4 or installing the update either via USB or install or reformatting your PlayStation 4 via USB. Uh, so let's see, PlayStation 4 is completely turned off. So we're gonna enter into safe mode. To do this, we're gonna hold on to the power button for about eight to 10 seconds. You should technically hear two beeps, one beep in the beginning and a second beep in eight to 10 seconds. My PlayStation 4 sucks, it's old, <laughs> it doesn't make beeps, so I just time myself and I let go around 8 to 10 seconds and I get into safe mode. Now, to be able to work with safe mode, you need uh, a USB cable plugged into your PlayStation 4 controller, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, and FYI, analog sticks do not work in safe mode, you need to basically use this. Okay, now once you're in here, my first assumption or guess is always rebuild your database this is one of the easiest things you can do and then you can go back to your playstation 4 if you're able to go in and then try that update if you obviously can't even go in try rebuilding the database go back into this safe mode and then updating your system software now there's two ways you can update your system software you can update via usb storage device or you can update using internet which will literally update it right now on your PlayStation 4. I've actually made a video on this how you can reinstall your software without a USB. This is technically one of the ways you can do this without losing any data. So if obviously you try this and it doesn't work, try it from a USB storage device. I've made a video on how to do this and my only thing is if you've watched another video or you just know how to do it yourself, the only thing is the USB cable itself, you need this plugged in before you go into safe mode. If you do it now, it will not read the file. I don't know why it does that, but that's how it works. So highly recommend you to have it before you go into safe mode and have it plugged in. The next thing you can do is you can initialize your PlayStation 4. So if you do this, you'll basically delete everything. This is internal, you don't need anything, you don't need a USB, this will automatically delete everything and it'll make it out of the box format for you. And it'll try to like download the updates and do it everything there at that time. If you tried this already and it didn't work, I would recommend you to do number seven. You need the latest version of the software, whichever one's the issue, so 7.55, you can download it. Again, I have a video on how to do this as well. Um, I'll try to leave all the videos in the description so you guys can like easily just click it and go from there. And you can try test that out and then try this. You do not need to update the hard drive um, or change the hard drive or anything of the sort. I've seen a lot of videos saying like you gotta open the PlayStation 4, pull off some plugs. You don't need to do that. That's too much extra work. <laughs> the average joke probably can do that. You, or, you already need like special very small screws. So it's not even like a normal screwdriver to open the damn PS4. <laughs> I would recommend you to not take those actions and steps. Try what I mentioned. These will most likely work. If they do not, please let me know. I'll try to find another fix if applicable. Um, but like I said, these ones do work. I did a lot of research. These are like the actual acceptable ones that don't require so much work and like upfront maintenance. So I would highly recommend you guys to giving that a shot and then basically taking it from there. Um, so yeah, that's about it. If you guys overall like this video uh, and found it helpful, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Other than that, Mo Gaming out. Please.